Hi guys, nice to see you. So today I'm gonna show you how you can do the casting of polymeric membrane using a casting machine. So for, the, for those who don't know me, I'm Hassan Al Gharbi. I'm from Tunisia. I'm doing master science in the University of Regina in process chemical engineering. Uh, it's a mix of industrial process and chemical engineering. And I'm in my second year. Hopefully I'm planning to do my defense this semester. So just I want to share with you the, this video. Maybe some of you, they, uh, they can find it useful for their uh, research. So for polymeric membrane, they are formed from a dope solution. So the dope solution uh, is a mixture of uh, like pellets of uh, polymers, usually like those, the PVDF. Uh, in my case, this is my case in my research. Uh, PVDF uh, polymers they are like this and the form it as uh, pellets and then we do the dissolution of those polymers in a solution it's called the dissolvent so there are different type of dissolvent in, in literature you can find the either uh, the like the abbreviation I'm gonna just give you the abbreviation I, I don't remember the full name the DMAC DMA uh, C or the uh, THF or others and also they are based from uh, based on uh, uh, it's called uh, porogen uh, like uh, uh, a powder that creates the pores inside uh, the, the polymer in my case it's the polyethylene glycol so you can find in the literature different others like the PVP, the polyethylene glycol, there is I think the tannic acid, um, some others like the PANI, PANI, uh, I can't remember the, fu the full uh, chemical uh, name. So as I said, right now we have three compounds, the polymer, the PVDF, the polyethylene glycol, which is the uh, porogen, and then we have the, uh, uh, the solvent that, that is used to dissolve the polymer. And then, of course, if you can add some others, uh, like nanoparticle or, or others, um, this is, will, give, uh, will give you a better performance for your polymer. So, so as I said, when you prepare your solution, you, first of all, you can, you do like the, you prepare the mixture, which is, which is a polymer, and uh, polymer, uh, the solution for the polymer, and also the porogen, and in my case, well, uh, w when you when you prepare it, you will uh, 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 you will have like a color, a transparent color. It's not like a color like in my case. In my case, I added something I, else. I cannot share it with you because this is my research. So, uh, I mean, you prepare a solution like this, based in temperature. You have a temperature like in my case, it's seventy degrees Celsius, and based in on uh, uh, rotation. Uh, like in my case, it's almost like I guess 700 RPM. And you prepare a solution, like a mixture like this. First of all, you, you can manual uh, styring because it's a little bit hard at the beginning. And then you keep it like this for 24 hours. For 24 hours until the complete the solution of the mixture. Some people, after the 24 hours, they, they leave it for a while uh, in order to do the the... Uh, the engagement of air bubbles. In my case, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't do it because I, I can't see, I can't see any uh, air bubbles. So I'm gonna show you right now how you can do the casting of polymeric membrane. You should know that this step is really, uh, or this video is really helpful for those who are doing or are planning to do research on polymeric membrane. In my case, when I was trying to do a research map, uh, or uh, cast or fabrication of polymeric membrane, it was a little bit hard. I was looking in research gate and I was contacting someone in, uh, in Emirates. He was really helpful. Uh, uh, and then I was looking like in the uh, in the internet, some videos, some YouTubes, how, how I can do the casting of uh, membrane. And then I, I arrived to, to manage my, my, my research, alhamdulillah. So, so as I said, so as I said, for polymeric membrane, they are based on support. This is the key 
of the fabrication or the uh, of polymeric membrane this separate uh, the support membrane because if you do the casting without the support what you will have you will have the problem of shrinkage this is a major problem that i found uh, at the beginning i was doing the casting of polymeric membrane without a support and then i, I realized that the <clears throat> after the co uh, coagulation step in the bath uh, the, the membrane has like a shrinkage and it was not like uh, working so the two, the two key factors for the uh, uh, fabrication of polymeric membranes are the support, hydrophilic support, and then the porogen. You have to add the porogen. If you don't add the porogen, you will not have any permeate flux in your membrane. Some people, they are mentioning in their research and their papers that we just do the casting based on, uh, based on a polymer, and, uh, and, any 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 type of polymer and based on a dissolvent they don't mention the porogen and the porogen is a key factor you will not have any permeate flux without the porogen because the porogen it will create the pore inside the poly uh, polymers okay uh, I'm, by the way i'm preparing a review paper uh, hopefully i'm uh, i hope that it will be published soon i'm just reviewing it for some times you can go to my paper uh, i will share it in the comments and you can read it you will find a very explanation on the different factors that they are like uh, involved in the uh, in the fabrication of polymeric membrane and what you are expecting for uh, to get from this uh, uh, when you apply such conditions uh, what you are expecting to get uh, as a, as a membrane so so let me just start 